The key to improving employee engagement at work is simply making other people look good. Your ability to get outside of yourself just a little bit and spend a little bit more time getting to know the people you work with on just a little bit deeper level will give you a sense of trust and camaraderie that's going to result in greater cooperation and improve teamwork. The first thing I learned is that if there is something that's different about you or that makes you uncomfortable, it may be your greatest asset. Seven feet four, making his all-star debut from the Utah Jazz Center, Mark Eaton. Right to the left, Eaton there to help, and he blocks it for Eaton to block it right out of bounds. Eaton blocks it, grabs it out the door. What a play, baby! It's April 1977. I'm 21 years old. A man walks into the tire store where I'm working as an auto mechanic. And he asks me the one question I hate. Do you play basketball? You'll hear the story of how I went from a 21-year-old auto mechanic who couldn't play basketball to an NBA All-Star. Good position, a little turnaround jumper, but me, he goes down with the ball. When I come and share my presentation with your team, I'm gonna share with you the tips and techniques that I learned as an NBA player. How to get rid of that internal competition, that internal conflict that so many of us face on a daily basis. I put my presentation together in a way that even the last person in the last row who knows nothing about sports is gonna walk away with something powerful, a tool that they can implement immediately when they leave the room, and to help them understand that if the team wins, they win. I'm trying to catch this little guard on our team named Rocket Rod Foster simply the fastest human being I've ever seen from one end of the court to the other. And I'm frustrated and kind of feeling sorry for myself and standing on the sidelines for a minute and taking a break and thinking, I don't know, maybe I can't play at this level. And at that moment, I feel this large hand on my shoulder. I turn around, it's Wilt Chamberlain, arguably the greatest basketball player that ever lived. Wilt grabbed me by the shoulder. He took me out on the court. He positioned me right in front of the basket. He said, let me tell you what your job is. He said, you see this basket? He said, your job is to stop players from getting there. Your job is to make them miss their shot, collect the rebound, throw it up to the guard, let them go down the other end and score it, and your job is to cruise up to half court and see what's going on. <laughs> Wilt showed me what my job was and how doing what I did would benefit my team. In that moment, I knew what I needed to focus on and what I needed to let go of. That five-minute conversation took me to a 12-year NBA career, being named Defensive Player of the Year twice, and in 1989, I was named an All-Star. Out, he crashes into Eaton, goes to Green. Buckley, picks up Magic. Buckley, Eaton, and it goes out of bounds. Oh, baby, big mark everywhere. It's that person that comes up after me and says, thank you, I really needed to hear that message today. It really made a big difference for me. That's why I speak. One of the most important commitments I talk about is uh, doing what you do best, really knowing your job and focusing on that one thing that you're excellent at. And in my presentation, we dig deep into that to really look at what your skills are and what your traits are. I believe each of you in here has a gift. And today I'm gonna show you how that gift can be of true and lasting value to others. I look forward to the opportunity to speak to your organization. And my promise to you is that I will simply be the best speaker you've ever had. Your attendees will walk out of the room inspired, energized, and excited with new tools they can use immediately to take your organization to the top.